the first thing I'm going to start with, which is a popular question, probably one of the most common I get is, what is the evidence of cannabinoid activity or THC in glioblastoma multiform or GBM specifically? It is a common question. Uh, and you can tell when you Google that question, you'll get lots of hits. Um, and, and while depending on where you go, when you type in that question, um, you might get a slightly different answer. Uh, but the general takeaway, believe it or not, is there is good reason and good science to believe that cannabinoids, whether it's THC, CBD or others, actually have a positive effect on glioblastoma, um, either alone, but also in combination with the standard of care which is often uh, radiation therapy or a temozolomide or a combination of both, et cetera. So there is existing evidence that both THC and CBD can have positive impacts on GBM, which is pretty astounding because, like, um, you know, this is a, a very difficult to treat disease. It does not respond to typical chemotherapeutic agents, um, which then starts to question, well, why would it work? Like, why, why, why would that happen? Well, it goes back to that endocannabinoid system. So glial cells, which is a, actually a term for multiple different brain cells, are generally covered in cannabinoid receptors, the, the, the satellite dishes that normally receive the endocannabinoid signal. There are, they are very abundant. In fact, I haven't mentioned this yet, but cannabinoid receptors, CB1, the one that uh, THC acts on to get us high, is actually the most abundant receptor in the brain. There are multiple studies that have confirmed this now. It is more abundant than any of the other receptors that we've talked about or that, that have been identified. This is everywhere in our nervous system because the nervous system needs to be in check and in balance. And if it's not, you're getting inappropriate signals. So you're perceiving the world wrong, whether that means pain, whether that means schizophrenia. But the receptors that drive uh, the effects of cannabis are extremely abundant in brain cells, which is where glioblastoma uh, tends to be.